One of my friends said to me, you know, I sit down with a bag of Cheetos and I could eat the whole freaking thing in one sitting, but I grab a bowl of carrots and I just stop when I'm full. Why is that? Do they put cocaine in it or what? Hi everyone, I'm Lacey and this is D News. The answer to that question is yes. Cheetos are filled with lots of coke. And by coke, I mean sugar and fat. But we could call it coke just for fun because the chemical changes in rodents' brains when they eat lots of sugary and fatty foods actually look just like they're doing drugs. Several studies in the past few years have suggested that junk food may in fact have some addictive properties. In a study published last week, scientists observing rats found that when they were given free access to sweet or rich foods, they would binge on those foods when they're available. Then when it was all gone, the rats went to great lengths to get more fat and sugar filled foods like Oreos. They would even cross a grid that zaps them with electric shocks to get more of it. Another new study found that fructose, a type of sugar that we're constantly hearing is so bad and horrible and awful, may in fact be bad and horrible and awful. Ish. Researchers at Yale found that after drinking a high fructose beverage, the brain doesn't register the same feeling of being full as it does when glucose, which is a simple sugar, is consumed. The preliminary speculation is that high amounts of fructose in processed foods don't tell your brain that you're done, which then leads to overeating. So what does this mean for those of you who are interested in nutrition and healthy eating? Mostly all of the same things you've heard over and over again, although now we're developing clear reasons for it. For starters, if you're trying to eat healthy, it may help to minimize intake of high fructose drinks because your brain doesn't respond to it like other sugars. Replace it with drinks that have simple sugars or drinks that don't have sugar at all, like water or tea. Another tip, don't get crazy. That applies to life things too, but in this case, it's probably a good idea to eat junk food in moderation. That's the key when it comes to consuming the processed foods that sculpt America's dietary landscape. The leading hypothesis at this point is binging on junk food sets you up for more binging in the future. The potentially addictive qualities of junk food also suggest that if you're a junk food junkie trying to get healthy, don't go cold turkey and try to cut out all your favorite treats at once. You'll end up sabotaging yourself like the rats running through that zappy maze. Instead, slowly start making small cuts here and there on your intake of processed foods. Scaling back over a long timeline, allowing your to become adjusted to less and less junk food intake may help you stay healthier in the long run. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for D News. Trace, Anthony, and I were actually thinking we want to get to know you guys a little better, so we might do a little Q&A or something. So if you want to send us any questions that you have, leave them in the comments and we will answer them soon. We'll see you next time.